yes. Yep. This is what you're supposed to do. But it's yep. that thing that Stephen Pressfield talks about, that resistance that you have to overcome. There's this weird thing where you just like know there's a thing you're supposed to do, but mm. you just get distracted. You just mm -hmm. want to, you know. I'd rather you uh, have a laptop that's not even connected to the internet. Yeah, I have my, the one I write with, I can't. I, I, I also, my phone doesn't have, my phone has uh, text and uh, e email and, and phone and a map, but I don't have any, I can't see the news on my phone. I can't watch clips of anything. Um, and it keeps my head clean. If I'm sitting at a computer that can go on the internet, it's just a cornucopia right. to just fucking, yeah, cars, vaginas, violence. Yeah. Every movie I ever <laughs> wanted to see, just dumb things. Um, but I, so I have a computer that can write and I can, I can only take, I can't even, I have to take stuff off with a USB drive because I'm staring. The thing that people get afraid of and that's even more effective than experience is just silence. Yeah. It's just quiet. And I think comedians in particular vibrate too much. And if you can get, if you can get used to just nothing and just going, that awful feeling that makes you grab for a distraction, mm -hmm. that awful feeling is so valuable. If you can just sit in it yeah. and tap it. And you go, fuck, because you'll have a real profound thought. I hate being in my body. I hate silence. I hate my dad, whatever it is. <laughs> and then you go, now you're on to something. Yes. Now you're in your spirit. Now you got something to say, you know? Yeah. And that feeling of boredom is just, it's gone. It's gone. That's what, when I see comedians at clubs and they're on their phones while they're waiting to go on, I, it's just you're, just, you're just corrupting your mind and you're not letting it rest. If you just sit and watch the other comic and you just get, and it's like looking at the ocean, watching a comic joke, laugh, joke, laugh, and you're getting the sense of that, of that human ocean rhythm. Yeah. And then you're ready to go on stage. But if you're sitting there checking your DMs, did any girls like me last oh, night? You yeah. know, <laughs> you're yeah. just, it's just a waste. Yeah. The internet is not resting your brain and it's not even really using it. So like I started taking piano lessons cause it felt like being at a computer and sitting at a piano and trying to pick out a piece of music which i can't really do it's exercising my brain and it's also massaging it you know yeah so i do i do crosswords and stuff i like puzzles and and that that kind of thing there's so many things you can do that aren't just passive surfing yeah and also letting the algorithm take you from thing to thing and you know and this this ai machine taking you from one th dumb thing to the next and making you dumber and dumber each thing that you watch that's why i like things that require 100 percent focus like archery and pool mm -hmm. those are like two things that i really like because when you're like lined up on a shot and you got a long shot with pool you're not thinking about anything else you know you got to clear your clear yeah. your mind yeah it's mm -hmm. it's a freeing sort of uh, exercise and i don't think enough people do things like that a thing where you're mm -hmm. only you're in that moment entirely only thinking about that thing that's what i love about jujitsu too when someone's choking you you're you're not thinking about anything you're else not thinking about other comedians and doing better than you No, <laughs> that's about the clearing worst. your airwave the fucking thoughts of comedians <laughs> doing better than you are the fucking most useless <laughs> worthless useless. thoughts yes